Excel has over 50 chart types, and it's not always clear which chart type is going to work best with your data. So it's good to remember that you can easily change chart types. Look at the data in columns A and B. If we want to create a chart quickly with this data, we can select the data and simply press Alt F1, one of the number of different ways we can create a chart. So that's a column chart. It's the default type. It may be ideal for the data being shown. We do have some options to consider if we go to the Design tab and then Change Chart Type. And here's some of those other variations. First of all, sticking with column for the moment, the current version is called a clustered column. How about a stacked column? Now, in this example here, it makes no difference, but in other sets of data, it will. Other options here, 100%, a 3D type chart. In the particular example we're looking at here, it doesn't make a lot of difference amongst the various column choices. But this data might be depicted more interestingly, perhaps, in a bar chart. Now, we don't necessarily know always what's best, and sometimes we're not sure, and there's no pure answer to some of these, but it's worth exploring and recognizing that you can easily change the chart type. Let's just leave it at this particular choice right here. When you're working with more multi-dimensional data, like what we're seeing in columns D through H here, let's select this data, and here too, create a chart. Maybe this time we'll use one of the more standard techniques, go to Insert. Maybe we're interested in a bar chart, so we'll make that choice from the beginning. Bar chart, we'll use the so-called clustered bar, and there we are. And I'll move this over to the right so we can see it and the data together, scrolling downward. And that looks pretty good, perhaps. Is it the best way? Well, let's consider some other options, and again, going to change chart type. Recognize that when you do click a chart, when you select a chart, it activates the chart tools ribbon, gives us a design tab and a format tab. The more important features tend to be on the design tab, and we might want to change the chart type first by considering some other options within the bar, so possibly stacked bar. The difference here, of course, is we're going to be seeing fewer bars, and we see the totals, and it shows us immediately that the armoire is the biggest selling item. We saw that before, but now perhaps we're seeing it a bit better. And so sometimes that's going to be the better choice. And keep in mind, too, we have other possibilities out there as well. There are some specialized kinds of charts, some area charts, some XY scatter charts. We tend to use that perhaps more with scientific, mathematic data. Stock charts, you can see how the application there might apply to stock market type data. Surface charts, radar charts, some of these tend to be used for scientific applications. So quite a few variations here. You want to have the sense that you can easily change the chart type. If you're working with data that depicts information over time, and a lot of data does, it might be helpful, particularly if you're trying to depict a trend that might exist, to display information, say like what we have here, as a line chart. We could do this by clicking the Insert tab, choosing Line as our choice right here. Usually the fourth choice here tends to work best. You see the preview below it. The others don't have markers on them or do other things that you might not be interested in, but let's try this one right here. Now we're showing the progress, or lack thereof, of different regions throughout the year, generally an upward trend. And that seems to flow more easily and more readily in a line chart than it does in a column chart. If you do work with line charts, recognize this idea that when line charts are narrower, or let's say they're flatter this way, Therefore, the lines tend to flatten out. I wouldn't exactly call that the most readable chart around, but it does de-accentuate the idea that there's change from month to month. If you make a line chart taller and maybe not so wide, it accentuates the change. And so here and there, working with certain kinds of data, you might want to consider that possibility. Any chart that you create, you can change its size by dragging one of the corner handles, as they're called, or one of the side handles, moving it up and down, repositioning it. And you want to move a chart by dragging its border or just inside the border. 
and place it near the data in a way that makes sense. Multiple chart types. So you've got quite a variety of chart types to choose using the change chart type button on the design tab of the ribbon.